It wasn't like I took their money and didn't give them something. Well, the man at the center of a Chris Six investigation opens up about claims he illegally kept fees that were meant for car tax titles and licenses, leaving his customers with vehicles they couldn't even drive. When we first brought you the story about used car dealer Eric Cantu just before Christmas, he had no comment about the accusations. Chris Six investigator Randall Cam has been on this story from the very beginning, and he joins us now with an update on this. So, Randall, have any of the folks in your original story received their car titles and license plates? Acadia they have. In fact, surprisingly, they all have. Contu explains he spent the last month and a half making up for past mistakes. It's not something that I did on purpose. But it happened. As his used car dealership, the now defunct Cars for Credit, started to go bankrupt, owner Eric Contu admits he kept fees collected from customers for taxes, titles, and licenses. Doing that meant customers like Nathan Murphy were left with cars they couldn't legally drive. I can't use it. I don't have any proof that I own it. It's I can't do much with it. Contu claims he used the money from customers to pay his employees instead. I could have done found bankruptcy, paid two thousand dollars, found bankruptcy under the under the car lot. Mm -hmm. Say I'm done. Let the consumers figure it out. But you didn't do that. I didn't do that. But now Contu explains he's doing right by his customers and working to get them their documents. Good thing he is because Nueces County Tax Assessor Kevin Kieschnick was coming for him. And it's fraud and it's theft yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Kieschnick says he was in the process of filing 45 complaints with the Texas DMV regarding Contu's shady business practices. He says Contu was committing fraud by withholding tax money, but now confirms Contu has paid back what he owed the tax office and made things right with former customers. He did step up and do the right thing, and so I mean, I'm happy for him and I'm happy for the customers he's have, who's had to deal with this. Contu estimates he spent $13,000 to make sure his former customers received titles to their vehicles and got their license plates. Those customers included Murphy, who had been waiting nearly a year to drive his Jeep he bought from Cars for Credit. We paid for everything. He didn't pay anything out of his pocket. And while that's true, Murphy is currently working out of the area, but Tell Six investigates he isn't buying Eric Contu's redemption story. In fact, Murphy says, quote, he was forced into a corner and is doing the absolute bare minimum to save face, unquote. In the meantime, Contu says he's out of that business for good, but still Cantu may not be completely in the clear just yet. Check out why on our website, ChrisTV.com, where we break it all down. Randall Cam. Six investigates. All right. Thank you very much, Randall.